right, so right now we're going to be um, doing a little machining job here, Sammy Little, the owner of Sam Winches here in Australia. He makes uh, tow winches for wakeboarding. So check it out, Sam Winches. It's in the link below. This is how we make the uh, the shafts for his winches. All right, the first thing we're going to do is find the center of the T-slot. So inside the drill chuck here, I have got a wobbler. So when I turn the machine, you can see that it's spinning out of ground. So what you do is you bring that down inside the slot. You can see that it's spinning out of ground now. And then as you move the, uh, the y-axis on your milling machine over to the edge, it'll spin true. It's getting closer. It's getting closer now. It's almost perfect. And then once you get onto the edge, it just moves ever so slightly. That's 5.56. And then you wobble over to the other edge. Point five nine millimeters. So yep, zero is perfectly in the center. So what we've got here is a little hub adapter, and it's a 25 millimeter shaft size and a hole size. But the hole was a little bit tight on the shaft, so we've just opened that up a little bit with a linish shard, just linish the inside out a little bit. And now we're going to cut the keyway into the into the shaft. Okay, so now we've found the center of the T slot. And what we've done is we've just screwed the round bar straight into it and that will actually hold it perfect center. So a clamp on either end. I'm just going to touch on the top here with the milling cutter and then screw it down four millimeters because we're cutting an eight point, an eight millimeter keyway. So I'm actually going to go down four and a half millimeters to make um, a compensation for the radius of the rod. And that should give us a full four mil depth. So we can sit an eight mil keyway in and still slide the the hub over the over the top of the keyway. First thing you want to do is come down and just wind the cover. Just touch this and set the stop. You can see here that we've just sort of traversed across here and that's the full depth of cut only because it's aluminium. If that was steel you'd have to do it in you know, a couple of cuts, you know, like it's um, either I use a ton of coolant, but we've got we're doing a roughing cut and then a finishing cut. So it should be all sweet. The cutter will move a little bit. So now that we've done that, we're just going to switch the cutters and finish the groove off. Alright, these are the two different milling cutters we're going to be using. This one here is called a slot drill, and that's the one you can drill down with. Come on, autofocus. Okay, this is the one that you can drill down with. This one here is an end mill, so you need to have a slot or a hole already for it to go into. You can't just plow down into solid steel with that. So that's the two differences between the slot drill and an end mill. So we rough it out with this one first, then we chuck this guy in and finish the slot. Now I'm using a six millimeter for an eight millimeter groove, so I've got to move it over one millimeter each way in the groove to cut it out to eight mil. 
and um, the depth's already cut when I roughed it in. So let's get to it. So the reason why we start with the 6mm is it always wobbles on one side and cuts deeper. So if you use the actual same width cutter as the groove that you want, you'd actually have oversized groove or slot and that is pretty hard to put metal back on. So we always go a little bit under and then cut up to the edge. Uh, same as like say the old cut twice, measure once, no nah, just kidding, measure twice cut once. So you just take it easy. Otherwise, if you take off too much metal, it's impossible to put it back on and you've wrecked the, uh, the, the slot and you'll have to start again. So that measures 7.70. We've roughed it out in one pass, then we've taken two light half millimeter cuts. I actually made a mistake, I should have gone straight to 0.9 of a millimeter. I was gonna take one millimeter extra overall, which is only half, when I really needed one mil per side. So once I've stepped that back out, I've got about 0.15 to go per side, which is 0.3, and that'll make it exactly eight millimeters. I'm gonna um, climb mill that one for the, so I get a nice finish and um, she'll be all sweet. Oh, looks pretty silver, really. There you go, there's the keyway. And it just, you can't really slide it along. It's got a little bit of a burr there on the top. You can see it just, just fits in. That's what you want. It measures 8.05, so you've got about 0 0.05 clearance here. So you can get your key steel in there. And then obviously our shaft will fit on over the top. I'll show you that at the end. in there like so. Nice and firm, but not loose. Perfect. Yeah, so there you have it. That's how you make a little um, slot for a keyway. Hope you enjoyed it.